Hello there. Welcome to Center Stand Mechanics. My name is Kyle, and today we're going to install some bearings into my V Strom 1000 rear wheel. And um, these bearings are a little bit different than the ones I took out, whereas you don't um, you don't pack them; they're already pre-packed, and so that's kind of easy. You just you just plunk them in, and um, and I uh, just install the the little seal that goes behind it, and uh, you're done. I will put a little bit of grease on this little um, this little tube here. Uh, I'll just put a little grease on it so it doesn't corrode and rust in there as it's sitting in there. But um, yeah, so probably a pretty quick video today. Um, just gonna quickly do this, and then uh, uh, we'll be ready to uh, put the the rubber on the wheel kind of. Thing, so so you can see there's the new one and here's the old one and you see how this one's totally sealed it's unserviceable but so there's no way to pack grease into this one this one is the old style one and you would put grease in your palm and you'd you'd pack the grease in all the way around and then you'd you'd install it but this one it's uh it comes pre pre-packed so anyways, so I just want to see which one, probably do this one first. I'm just going to put a little, little dab of grease on my, on my fingers. Just get it in here, help it slide in a little easier. And uh, yeah, so save your old bearings when you get them out because you can use these to drive the new one in. At least get it started. So yeah, so just place it over the hole. Get your old bearing, because you can smash on this one. Place it over top and just start tapping it in. It should go in nice and straight. These things like to go in crooked. You don't wanna, you don't wanna get it crooked in there. So I just check, see it's a little bit high on this side. Eventually it'll straighten itself out and go all the way in. I think I'll get my, my heavier, heavier hammer. Just about flush now. There, it's flush. There, she's going in now. Just trying to be careful it doesn't go in crooked. I just check. Make sure it's all the way down. Okay, there's one. Now this thing goes in next, but I'm gonna put a bunch of grease on it. Oh, it doesn't corrode.
And then the same thing here, we'll just put a little bit of grease in here. And then we'll, so we put the little tube in there and now we got the, the other bearing. Sort of place it over the hole, and then we'll get the old bearing and knock this one in. Just check, make sure it's straight. Now I gotta be careful I don't bash this edge. I'm getting pretty close to the end here, so I'm gonna put this on over top. Okay, get it pretty hard there. Okay, that's just about home. I'm gonna give it one more hit. I think that's in. So I just want to check and make sure we didn't move this one. I think I'm gonna give this one a hit just to make sure. Oh, that sounds, hear that ring? That sounds really solid. Yeah, that's, that's solid. And then this piece of pipe on the inside is nice and tight. I can tell it's, it's right up against, it's right up against both bearings. Like this one's on the bottom, there's that piece of pipe. And the other one and it's it's in there it's not it's not wiggling around so that's good and then i'll just give this a little clean And this one, this goes on here like that. Just want to make sure that that's going in all the way. That looks good. Okay. And then on the other side, goes this little, this little dust seal. All right. Put a little bit of grease around this too. Just help, help lube it up. And then so, the flat side out. And I just push it in as much as I can to get it started. Now, you gotta be careful putting these in because you can crush them and mess them up. So you wanna be, you know, fairly firm, but gentle at the same time. And then here again, I think I'd use the old bearing because it's the exact size, right? So put that on there, get your small hammer, just tap it. You don't wanna, you don't wanna be smashing on this too hard because you'll mess up the, the seal. Okay. And I think that's all the way. It's nice and flush. 
looking pretty good. There. Right, one more for good measure. There we go. So I think that's there. New bearings installed in the wheel, and then we just have the uh, little drive hub that the sprocket sits on. We got to put bearings in that. So we'll take this down off the thing. We'll just lean that up there. So we'll take this guy. And here again, this bearing's a little bit larger. This is the old one here, it came out. Here's the new one, this is the old style that you pack. Here again, this type of bearing you would you would pack. You know, you put grease in your palm and you scoop it and keep pushing it in until it's full. But this type, You don't need to do that. It's good to go. So, I'll take a little dab of grease. And I'll just put a little bit of grease on this. Help it slide in a little bit, you know. Help uh, a little bit of, a little bit of lubrication help it slide in a little bit. Okay. Sides are the same. Yeah. Both sides are exactly the same. Okay, so you just hold it here. Start with a small hammer. Just, just sort of tap all the way around. Quite all the way up, but I just wanted to check. All right, so that's getting pretty close. So I'm just going to kind of hit the edge of this with the socket. It'd be nice to have just a slightly smaller press or something. Obviously, I don't have a proper bearing press, or we'd be, we'd be using it. So I'm just going to go side to side and front to front to back. And, Until it's all the way. Make sure it. I think that's. Yeah, that's all the way. See how it pushed the grease out? That a little bit of film of grease in there I put in there. Yeah, it's pushed it out. So it's all the way. pretty good and let me just put the seal on here again I'm gonna get a little more a little bit of grease just kind of put it all around here and kind of get this acquainted with a bit of grease Help it go on a bit. And here again, I think I'll put that on there like that. And now you don't have to smash it hard. You just want to kind of tap it in. Oh, went pretty, went pretty crooked there. And I get this pushed in a little bit. <clears throat>
this has got a little bit, a little bit more to go. That's it. It's looking, it's looking pretty good. Oh, that's nice and smooth, eh? Oh yeah. Just check and make sure it's even. You don't want these to go on crooked. I think it's pretty even. I think we're just gonna give it a couple more hits here. Well, uh, clean this off a little bit, and then, uh, okay, so now I'm going to put the sprocket on, but I'm going to, uh, Tighten these nuts up so far, but I'm gonna torque them down later. And uh, the reason why I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna wait till it's on the bike and I got the chain hooked up or the, or the brake or something, at least something to hold this so I can properly torque these on. But I'm gonna put them on, you know, fairly, fairly tight for now. I'm just putting a little bit of, a little bit of grease on these threads. This guy, you can tell by the markings on it that it went, it went like this. So I'll just put it back on the way it was. And we'll just tighten these down. I'll get them tight, but they're not going to be torqued yet. So I know that um, everybody wants to put the proper torque on here, which is good, which is good advice. And we will do so. But uh, I'm going to wait later on until I got it properly. I got some way of holding it on the bike and then I'll torque it down. Okay. And uh, whenever you're tightening something up like this, it's usually good to do a cross pattern. Make sure it's on there nice and straight. It's a good rule of thumb whenever you're bolting something on a bike or on an engine or try to do everything in a cross pattern. It goes for loosening stuff off. You don't want to loosen off one end and then have it all tight on another while you're taking something off. Things bend and uh, you want to be smart about it. Not create more problems. You don't want to warp anything. So now I am going to torque this down like I was saying. I'm just gonna tighten these so it's so it's on there, and uh, we'll look up the proper spec, and we'll get that done in properly. So yeah, so there, new bearings installed on the V-Strom 1000. Woohoo! I can't wait to ride it. So I'm probably gonna end the video here, guys. Keep it short, but that is one step closer to having this back together. So this goes on here like that. You got your outer seal there, and then you got your other seal there, and then goes the axle shaft, and uh, we'll be motion. The rotor goes on here, and uh, actually, no, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the rotor on after I put the wheel or the rubber on the wheel because uh, it gets in the way, it's just easier. So I'll do that after I install the tire. Okay. Ah. 
so that's that. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I uh, hope that video helped you. Uh, it's, pre it's pretty easy. Just use the main thing is to remember to, to keep your old bearings and use them to press in the new ones, and that way you won't uh, mash up the new bearing being that they're the same size and they make the perfect little uh, punch to push them in. Uh, so always keep your old bearings for at least as long until you install the, the new ones. And um, yeah, so uh, that's it for today. Center stand mechanics out.